Boston Dynamics just unveiled their brand new robot and it's incredible. Wow, this is crazy. Now comes the scary part. That is straight out of a horror movie. In case you haven't been following robotics, this is insane progress, especially the way it can turn in all directions. Like, look at this. It can stand up with its torso backwards, rotate the hands, rotate the head, and completely switch around. No cables extending, and this comes just a day or two after, uh, yeah, a day after they retired Atlas 1.0, this is Atlas 2.0. This is the famous one, you know, the one who did all the backflips, all the dancing. You've probably seen videos of this because it was super viral. And they have retired it, which made a lot of people sad. But, as you know, people were expecting, something better was coming. And look at this, look at the size difference. This guy weighs like half, probably. So many exposed cables and stuff. This could not be in your average home, right? This definitely could. This looks very polished and it could honestly be like a consumer version and the size difference is crazy. Before I show you how the new Atlas compares to Figure AI and Optimus Gen 2, let me quickly tell you about my community where you can access hundreds of other people at the cutting edge of AI as well as dozens of courses, modules and exclusive content and two weekly calls where you can talk to me directly. So if that sounds interesting to you and if you want to take AI seriously then make sure to join. It's the first link in the description. And this is the evolution, right? So like people everybody's looking at AI LLMs and the software side of things but not many people appreciate the robotics yeah walking on rocks was a huge challenge balance look at this this is some other robots from Boston Dynamics like what is this monstrosity like compared to this insane going on a walk this is like the cheese rolling competition you know what would be crazy once robots can defeat all human world records in bench squat and deadlift. Like that would be like a big milestone in robotics. I'm talking about, about a humanoid robot, something like this, that can do all of these lifts as a side effect, not as a primary goal of the robot. But well, this is a comparison, you know, you can see the comparison to the previous version, but I'm also going to compare it to the latest figure version from figure AI and Optimus 2 from NVIDIA. And also I'm going to show some reactions people are having to this on Twitter. Oh, what was that? Like it blew out its knee? Oh no, that was uh, probably hydraulics fluid. This, like this is still so impressive, even though they managed to do this like what, five years ago or something? Like I can't wait for the videos of this guy starting to come out because this is only like what? 39 seconds like surely they have some some crazy videos going on that we'll see over the next coming months weeks and months I would, I would love to see like the stats I mean obviously these are like the videos for public but like you know height weight because th this guy seems taller obviously heavier and you know I don't know how much this could weigh but it's still though like it looks like a 140 pound human it's kind of looks small but could be double that, I don't know. Maybe even more. I'm also interested, like, what do they do with these old versions? Like, do they sell them? Do they scrap them? Like, that would be a shame if they just, like, scrapped it for the materials. Maybe they can reuse some for the newer robots. So Atlas 1.0 being retired officially. It's kind of a big moment in robotics because this was the best robot for so many years. Hopefully this is not copyrighted, please, Boston Dynamics. I'm gonna mute it just in case. Yeah, they taught it parkour, flips, dancing, so much effort, it's crazy. But I imagine being a robotics engineer is definitely fun. Like when you see final success after hundreds of hours of failure, like look at this, it's a flip with a twist, like, man. Teaching a human that is challenging enough, like a robot, that's just next level. And that's the end of Atlas 1.0. Now let's look at the reactions from prominent people. So here is what Marcus Brownlee thinks. Boston Dynamics just unveiled their newest Atlas robot. This is not a render. Oh my god. 
it's giving call an ambulance, but not for me vibes. And by the way, Marcus Brownlee just was in a controversy for this video where he just completely destroyed the humane AI pin by giving it this crazy title of the worst product I've ever reviewed. And a lot of people were mad on both sides. A lot of people are saying that, you know, the product is not as good as it was advertised, that this is a correct review. But a lot of people were mad like that this is like destroying innovation. I mean, I don't know. I think, you know, he can upload whatever he wants and he can give whatever review he wants. But I'm also supportive of companies trying new things. So yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Boston Dynamics, this is the official tweet. We promise this is not a person in a bodysuit. Obviously referring to the Tesla dance. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. So yeah, they're kind of memeing on Tesla with this. If you're not following, uh, you know, the robotics field, you probably don't recognize that this is a slight jab at Elon. But this is from what, two years ago, when the idea of a Tesla bot was just an idea. And obviously Tesla didn't have anything. So they just did this demo, right? A person in a suit. And it's like, it could be a robot until this. Like, yeah, now it's obvious it's a person. <laughs> this is Elon in the background. So yeah, this is nice. Boston Dynamics taking a slight uh, jab at Tesla. Jim Fan from NVIDIA said this. It took my brain a while to parse what's going on in this video. We are so obsessed with human level robotics that we forget it is just an artificial ceiling. And this is true, like, why should the robots be in the human field? Maybe this is a limited form. Maybe they can be in a much better form. Why don't we make a new species superhuman from day one? Boston Dynamics has once again reinvented itself, gradually, then suddenly. Let's compare the difference between this Atlas 2.0 to Figure AI, which was a month ago, So we can right away see that Figure AI is powered by OpenAI. So it means that it has a large language model as its brain, which probably gives it an advantage over Atlas right here. But as we'll see soon, the difference in the build quality is completely different. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? So look at this, like exposed cables, exposed actuators, stuff like this. Like this cannot be in your home, right? Like you could put a finger in there and you lose it. This, like so clean a red apple on a plate in the center of the table. Yeah, I think there's actually no hydraulics in this. Actually, why, why did I miss this? This description is really good. We are unveiling the next generation of humanoid robots, a fully electric Atlas robot designed for real world applications. So they'll probably try to selling this. This might be the first consumer robot. The new Atlas builds on decades of research and furthers our commitment to delivering the most capable, useful mobile robots, solving the toughest challenges in industry today with Spot, with Stretch, and now with Atlas. Stay tuned to see what the world's most dynamic humanoid robot can really do in the lab, in the factory, and in our lives. So yeah, as I predicted, a lot of new Atlas 2.0 videos will be coming very soon. Now, okay, look at this. Look at this chunkiness, like, this, this is such a rough draft. Now, obviously, Figure is a much newer company than Boston Dynamics, so we have to figure, give them some credit. Like, the movement is quite good, but I would say it still has that robotic feel. While, like, right here. Like, that was a bad example. But, like, this seems like much more natural, like, human turning around. Obviously, you cannot completely 180 your torso, but yeah. I think uh, just the movement is more, much more polished. They have more data. So, yeah, we've seen this demo. Now, let's compare it to... Optimus Generation 2, which I would say is like probably something in between in terms of how like production ready it is. Like this is so many cables, so many, you know, pipes. Optimus 2 still has a bit here, but it's like much closer to Atlas right here. So obviously this was four months ago from Tesla. Movement is really good, like much better than Optimus 1. But like the walk is still like, you could see the walk, it's just so unnatural. It's incredibly hard, I mean, some of the world's brightest people are working on it, but the way this guy walks away, even though it's obviously not perfect, I would, I would say like it's much better. Like some people walk around this like at 2 a.m. in the morning, but this is kind of like a hundred year old patient with Alzheimer's. But anyway, let's compare the hands. Because this guy has like very realistic humanoid hands. What about this guy? Is there a good shot of the hands? Okay, three fingers only. Look at this. This is an int interesting choice because 
you would think like having five fingers, you can do more with that. I don't know, maybe Boston Dynamics knows something we don't. See, like the back of the, uh, um, of the Optimus is still like very open. It's not covered up. Solid squad, depth could be better, you know, for proper uh, hypertrophy, but I guess the robot doesn't care about that. Yeah, anyways, you get the point. Boston Dynamics just surprised everybody with this new robot and not just better, it's different. Like the way it's built, fully electric, just wow, like in insane progress. And I have to give huge credit to them. So if you want to see more AI news like this, please subscribe. And if you want to take AI seriously and go to the next level, then I would recommend joining my community where you can access so many resources and courses. Like look at this, how to build and deploy AI agents, prompt engineering 101, how to prepare for AGI and much, much more. It's the first link in the description and I highly recommend joining. Thanks for watching.